Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for tonight's video, I was going to say today, but it's very late. Um, I'm wearing my skincare headband because this video is going to be my, I guess, winter skincare routine. So if you guys haven't watched my other videos, I mention often that I have very dry skin. So you can imagine in the winter, it's um, even drier and I do live in Canada and it's like extreme winter right now. <laughs> Today was like a very cold day especially so I feel like I have to do some skincare tonight so that I don't look like an alligator. So yeah and since like I'm running late on posting vlogmas day five i thought this would be like an easy quick video to film so yeah let's just get into it i think it's gonna be pretty quick because i'm not like super intense with my skincare and often sometimes i well not often lately i've been really good doing it every night but in the summer i was like barely doing any skincare so yeah let's just pretend that I was wearing makeup and I took it off already um, but yeah so obviously I have nothing on my face so the first thing I would do so after having washed my makeup off if I had makeup on um, and right now I'm using the first aid beauty uh, cleanser I think there's only one it's the one in the tube I have like a deluxe sample of it so far it's really good it doesn't like I find like it really cleanses my skin but it doesn't leave it feeling tight which is a good thing so after I do that I would go in with my toner so um, I'm actually using two different toners right now and it's kind of like depending on how I feel so I have the uh, what's it called the pixie glow tonic I have like this much left so it's basically almost done and with that one, I put it on like a cotton pad and I just wipe it on my face. And it has glycolic acid in it, which is supposed to be good for dry skin. I'm pretty sure I've heard that. But other than that, I don't really know if it's doing much. I do notice like my skin looks brighter, but I'm not sure if it's that. So anyway, but tonight I have my skincare bag with me. This is like where I keep all my skincare and I just keep it in my closet because I don't have like a lot of storage in my bathroom. So I'm just pulling stuff out of that bag. So that was a really long intro. But the first thing I'm using is my Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. It's a, supposed to be a nourishing mist. Um, yeah, so good for dry skin. This one you have to shake it up before you use it because there is oils in it and they'll separate. And it has a spray pump. So I just spray this everywhere. <coughs> and you get it in your mouth when you're talking. Um, but it smells really good. It has like a citrusy aroma. I don't know if it says anything thing about that on the back but it says an all-over face mist for a glowing luminous and smooth complexion enriched with 21 natural oils plus propolis aloe vera and fruit extracts so this is a product you can use as a primer so it says before makeup hydrates protects and nourishes and then after makeup sets adds a dewy finish and protect so you can use it as a setting spray and then it says anytime refreshes makeup hydrates and adds a glow so for me I use this strictly as a skincare product because I have so many other setting sprays and things like that but yeah I do like this and I've used like almost half of it so that's a good sign so once that's um you know absorbed i go in with an oil and the one i'm using right now is just this little mini guy is that in focus 
This is the um, Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. It says advanced retinol ester combined with soothing blue essential oils for an overnight facial. I don't really know much about retinol, but what I do know is like it's supposed to help with cell turnover. So um, if you have like dull, um, dry skin, uh, it should help like to smooth everything out but you do have to be careful if you have really sensitive skin um, you should like patch test with the retinol so just like put some on a small spot and see if you have any reaction I do have sensitive skin but I've been pretty good with um, all the retinol products I've tried so far so and this one I feel is very gentle yeah I'm almost done this I don't really know if it's doing anything and by the way these are not necessarily my like holy grail products I just am using them because it's what I have open right now <laughs> but I take it out in the dropper and then I put four drops directly on my face I used to put it in my hand first and like rub it in but I felt like most of the oil was just absorbing into my hand. So this is what I do now. And then I just like gently rub it in. And then I pat it. So I just feel like when I do this, it makes the oil like be pressed into my skin. And if I had just done this, it would just all come off in my hands. I don't know. I don't know if that's just a weird thing that I feel, but... And this smells, like, really spa-like and, like, relaxing. But I don't think I would ever buy this product in the full size. Because it's, like, over $100. <laughs> and then after the oil, I go in with... My moisturizer so the one I'm using now I think I really like this actually it's the Bosha Subaki deep hydration sleeping mask so it's actually a sleeping mask is basically a moisturizer in my opinion it's just like a different marketing of it because I mean you use it the same way you're not going to rinse it off in the morning I mean unless you're washing your face in the morning but for me, I just use it as a moisturizer and it's pretty hydrating, but it's not, I don't feel like it's clogging my pores or anything and it absorbs really well. So that's why I like this one. And I bring it down my neck and then I go in with my eye cream. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting this on before my moisturizer maybe because the thing about eye cream is they say like the reason there's different eye cream and face cream is that the eye cream supposedly like basically the eye cream just absorbs better into the under eye skin which is like thinner and more delicate than your face so maybe i should have put this on first <laughs> but anyway this is not like a skincare tutorial this is just like a demo of what I use because I do think when you have dry skin if you don't like take care of it well and you wear makeup it's not gonna look good it's gonna look like cakey and crusty so yeah especially in the winter I have to take better care of my skin so I mentioned this in another video this is what the applicator looks like and to disperse the product you just press this down did i say what this was it's the juice beauty stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye treatment i got it in a boxy charm so i just get about this much product if you can see that i find if you press it all the way down you're gonna get way too much product coming out so yeah, I just do like a half of a pump and then I just start from the inner corner here 
and I use this applicator to drag it down. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. And I do put some of the excess on, like, my eyelid here and, like, the crease. I've been using this pretty consistently. I don't know if it's making a difference, but I do like how it feels. <laughs> And I like applying it. So the other eye, same thing. This would probably be nice too if you kept it in the fridge and you put it on in the morning. I think it would really like refresh. So sometimes there's like some product that builds up around there. So I just like dab it in the excess. And then I have to put a lip balm on. I have one on my nightstand, but I do have another one in this bag that I can use. It's actually a sample, but whatever. I'm trying to get use out of my samples since I have so many. Where did it go? Yeah, this is the Agave Lip Balm by uh, Bite Beauty. I'm going to use my lip brush so that I don't keep putting my finger in there and mixing all my skincare in with it, you know? That's basically it. That's all I do. So it's just, um, obviously cleanser, toner, oil, moisturizer, eye cream, and lip balm. I think it's working pretty well. I still have a lot of texture on my forehead, which I'm not really sure where that's coming from. But it is better than it used to be. Uh, when I wasn't doing skincare, so I think it's helping. But yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for like texture, yeah, my the texture on my forehead is my main concern, and then like my pores on around my nose, they look okay now, but sometimes they really annoy me. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. Just a quick um, winter skincare routine. I hope you like this video and if you want any more um, recommendations on products for dry skin, I have been testing a lot of different things so I might have some other suggestions for you. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!